Okay, this tutorial is going to be basic adding and subtracting. So just run notepad, run CMD, CD desktop. Move this out of our way. Okay, now let's save this as test.asm. Now A100. Now, first we're going to say mob A802. 02 is just for displaying an ASCII character and it it displays this character from a hex value and we can we're going to use the DL register to get the hex value let me just show you an example if you go to ASCII.CL let's for an example right here like I used in that tutorial a while ago the hex of a lowercase y is 79 so if we put DL79 and 21 and 20 RCX 100 um, name hello.com right quick. Now if we write debug test.asm. Now if I write hello, it's going to write a lowercase y because it writes it from that this hex value instead of actually getting like the string from a location and data so what we're going to do though is I'm going to show you the add command what if it's two how can I get uh, the the this two to um, the actual ASCII for two well the ASCII hex for 2 is 32 which means all we have to do is add 30 hex onto this and it becomes the character 2 why are we making it the character 2 so we can display it so this is your add command it's very simple you type your register comma then a value 30 and what it does it adds 30 onto the register so now look. I'm going to type in hello. This is going to return us a 2. The reason is is because it took 2 from the register and then added it to 30. And now DL is equal to 32, which is the 2 symbol. But let's do this. Let's add to DL 3. So now what's going to happen, DLs, well first we're going to add 3 to it, so now it's going to be 5, and when it adds it to 30, it's going to become the ASCII character for 5, which is right here. So we can do this. And as you can see, we just calculated basic 2 plus 3, and that got me 5. Now, again, I said, um, I, t I talked about how we added 30. This isn't the best way to display your value, because if we add, like, let's say 2 and 8, it's going to be equal to 10. And 30 plus 10 in hex is 3a, which a is actually equal to 10. So we would, you would actually be adding a and 30, which would get us 3a. So if you add 2 and 8, you get a colon. And then like 2 and 9, you get a semicolon. Or like, if you went below 0, you'd get this slash. Or anything below here. So this isn't the best way for displaying your care, um, you, the results of the math. But my point is not to, show, not to display it, but to sh I'm just displaying it to prove it works. So... Again, we can say 6 plus 2. And now run hello. And it's going to give us 8. Um, now, let's use subtract. Sub. Subs for subtracting. Let's subtract 2 from 5. And we're still going to add 30 to it because, like I said, that changes it to the look, um, the hex value of the ASCII character. So now let's 
assemble this. Now look, when I run it, three, because it's going to take five, and the hex is going to subtract two from it. So now it's going to equal to three, and it's going to add thirty to it, so it becomes thirty-three. And then thirty-three is equal to the eight character. Eight. I mean 38 yeah wait what yeah it gave us 3 because 33 is equal to 3 that's what I meant um, so that's for adding and subtracting you can also add two registers let's say um, I had I moved 2 into CL what I can do is say sub CL or sub DL CL. What this will do, it will subtract. It will take DL and subtract CL from it. So that's going. This one's also going to return three. CL is just another register. We're not really using it for anything except to store our value. So see, that's also going to return three because it subtracts the value in the register from DL. So that's just basic adding and subtracting. Um, I guess you could play around with this some more if you want and figure out some other things. But that's all I really wanted to show for this tutorial.